Welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how I mask canopies. Here we have the cockpit glass of the 144th scale tornado I'm working on at the moment. As you can see there is this frame all around that we need to paint, whereas the glass surfaces in between have to stay clear from paint. What we can see on top of the tornado canopy is not a seam line but the detonation cord to shatter the glass in case the crew has to eject. Now there are several options how to mask and paint. Number one is using a brush. If you are working on a larger aircraft and have very steady hands there should be no problem with that. But I can only speak for myself when I say that I can't do it. My hands are too shaky and furthermore I find it difficult to get the right consistency of the paint to brush fine lines on a clear part. Therefore my go-to is airbrushing, which means that it's essential to mask the canopy. The easiest option here are pre-cut masks that you can buy separately like I did for my Dornier Do 335. As you can see the structure of the canopy is very complex, so I invested 2 or 3 euros to save me all that work. What you often get are these pre-cut stickers that you just have to put in the right place. So here we have the stickers for the canopy and next to it also some for the wheels. If you can spare some change and want to save yourself from the trouble of masking everything yourself, I would recommend doing this. Another method I tried in the past is Parafilm M. It's a film that you stretch over the canopy before cutting it. I used it on my Eurofighter Typhoon and it worked well. But cutting directly on the clear part is quite risky. Nonetheless, this is a good option. Now for the masking with tape. There are several types of masking tape. What I can't recommend is something like this. The adhesion is very strong which makes it difficult to remove and also you'll have a hard time polishing the clear parts. Also the surface is very rough. Something else I had mixed results with is scotch magic tape. It's transparent and I cut it directly on the canopy like parafilm. The problem with this is that it's very difficult to remove after you paint over it. So no recommendation from me. And here's what I'll use in this video. Many suppliers produce this kind of masking tape, the most famous one being Tamiya. This right here is a cheap copy from China that works just as well. You can get these in larger sizes as well. And one last thing that's quite useful in my opinion, not only for canopy masking, is liquid mask or masking liquid. Again there are several brands but I just got the cheapest one which works fine. Now let's remove the canopy from the sprue. To get a better angle and release some tension from the sprue, I cut away some of it. Now I can do the same on the other side. Be very careful when removing the canopy and don't cut too close to it because that might damage it. These leftovers can easily be removed with a hobby knife and a sanding stick or paper. When there are no flaws like flash or scratches left, I cut my masking tape into thin stripes and start masking the outlines of the frame. As you can see, I drag the stripe over the canopy and use the pencil to make a mark on the other side where I want to cut the tape. Now remove the tape again to cut it, don't cut it directly on the canopy. Now it has the perfect length and I can burnish it down and continue with the rest of the frame. This process is quite time consuming but it really pays off to be accurate here. A different method was used in the front where the frame is quite narrow. I used a larger piece of tape and burnished it down with a toothpick so I can see the outlines of the frame. After also using the pencil these are clearly visible and I can cut this part out and place it again. This is the end result of masking the frame. Of course we also need to fill the spaces in between. That's where the masking fluid comes into play. If you don't have any masking fluid you can of course also just use more tape. My method is to use tape and fluid that I just brush over the tape with a silicone brush to fill any gaps I might have missed. 
because the masking fluid can leave some residue on the clear parts, I avoid brushing it directly onto it. The last thing I added was this handle made from tape for easier handling of the part later on. To finally glue the canopy onto the model I use white glue. It dries clear, so it wasn't a problem that I used a bit too much here. Don't use super glue or modeling glue because the canopy might fog up. And here is a little sneak peek of the primed and painted tornado. The next step will be the decals. If you want to see the final outcome, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. So that's all for now, thanks for watching, good luck with masking and have a nice day, bye!